Despite its unappetizing name, nutritional yeast is a powerhouse food and common in vegan cooking. So here to talk about what it is and how to use it, holistic nutritionist and best-selling author Joy McCarthy. Hey. So you're matching, you're matching the yeast today. Yes, I'm dressed yes, just like nutritional yeast. I love it. And um, it's not the most appetizing looking thing either. Right. But it's really tasty. So it's a, it's actually a species of yeast. Okay. Called Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Okay. And then what? It's all about the process, which is what makes it nutritional yeast. So it's actually yeah. cultured for several days okay. um, on a medium like molasses or beets because that has to provide the food for it to grow. Oh. I know it sounds kind of like nasty. <laughs> Still gross. Um, and then um, once it's ready, heat is used to deactivate it. That's why when you hear nutritional yeast, people always say, well, it's not yeast that helps bread rise because it's mm. inactive yeast. Okay. So heat is applied to deactivate it and yes. then it's washed and then it's dried and then you get it in a flaked form. Like you can buy it in a flaked form, you can buy it okay. in a powder, you can buy it um, in like granules and it has a nutty cheesy flavor. Do you want to okay. smell? Okay. Yeah, let me take a bit. smell. Yeah, take a sniff. And I want Does that smell cheesy? That smells to you? like cheese. Yeah, that totally smells <laughs> Sorry, like cheese. Sorry, like No, that's well, fine. I might be licking this later. Yeah, and um, it's called nutritional. It's called what nutritional yeast. So, I, what I wanted yeah. to explain is that there are different kinds of yeast yes. and they all start the same exactly. and then they all go in different directions. Exactly. So, the yeast you use to make your bread rise, what's that Baker's called? Baker's yeast. Baker's yeast. Brewer's yeast as well. People use it as a nutritional supplement, but that okay. as well as an active yeast. So, people They're both who active. have excess yeast and candida problems, yes. for example, are typically okay with this type of yeast because it's not, it's inactive okay. and it's called nutritional yeast because it has lots of nutrients in it too. What's in it? Protein. Yeah. It's actually two tablespoons has nine grams of protein. When you compare to mm. like an egg, I love eggs, but eggs six to seven grams of protein per egg. So that's, that's like true. pretty decent. That's Plus true. you're getting full um, amino acids. So all the essential amino acids, you also get nine grams of fiber mm. in two tablespoons mm -hmm. um, and it's got iron, has lots of trace minerals like selenium and zinc. Okay. Zinc is really Really good for your immune system. Yes. But why a lot of vegans love this is because the B vitamins has lots of B complex vitamins. All right. But there's two different like when you go grocery shopping, there's mm -hmm. two different kinds of yeast. There's fortified yes. and unfortified nutritional yeast. So the fortified has the added B12 because a lot of people oh. get confused actually and they think that nutritional yeast is a source of B12. Right. But it, what you have to remember is it's synthetic B12. It is added to it. But for someone who doesn't eat any animal foods, you you actually really need to make sure you get B12. Yeah. B12 is really important for your nervous system. What else would you get B12 from if Animal you didn't get foods. it? Animal oh, foods. So that's meat, why. chicken, okay. dairy, eggs. Yeah. So that is why it's really important and that's why many vegans love nutritional yeast because they can get all the B vitamins that they need. Plus really important for energy metabolism. Okay, so even so, if you're not a vegan though, you yeah. would suggest trying it because yeah, it's totally. got so many nutrients in there. Yes. It's tons of fiber, yeah, it's got it a bit of fiber, of it's got a ton of protein exactly. and a lot of flavor. So how would we use it? So we yeah, go so to the aisle and we yeah. see the, the fortified see the, nutritional the flax, yeast. The flake stuff. Yeah. yeah. And what now I take it this? home, what do I do? Okay, well, do you like cheese? Who yes, I do here? like cheese. Everyone likes cheese, I like right? cheese. So I actually made, I cultured my own cashew cheese. Um, <gasps> so we can try it here. She's so a this pioneer, <laughs> everyone. I know, I feel Were you at home churning like, butter? But you know what, honestly, it's so easy. Is it? It's so easy. All you need is, so I add nutritional yeast because it has that cheesy flavor, obviously. Yes. I add some probiotics. Okay. I soak the cashews. Yes. I mix everything together in a blender, mm -hmm. and then I just let it sit. On your counter? Seven, well, normally, I put it in my oven, but just remember, put a post-it mm -hmm. note on your oven door, because mm -hmm. I've totally done that. Because I might Turn forget on it. my oven, and then you're like, what is that stink? <laughs> um, so it takes up to 72 hours, um, and then you're actually, you're culturing it. You're literally making uh, cheese. So, so can I try some try cheese? Some. So it's, um, it's like a very creamy cheese. Okay. It uh, smells very cheesy, but it has a more <laughs> mild. What does that mean, Joy? <laughs> like in a good way. Okay. But it tastes delicious. It's actually... And you it add the taste delicious. Yes, you love it. Mm -hmm. It's so That's good. That's very good. You made and cheese, girl. I know. I'm so proud of you. I'm yourself. so proud of it's you. The easiest thing Come on. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah, it's good. I'm glad you like it. So cashew cheese. Um, yeah. And so there's nutritional yeast in that, and you sprinkled yes. some and on sprinkled top. Because it's so pretty. 
It looks it so is nice pretty. on these too. It is. That beautiful yellow color. Okay, now, and, um, what's this? So we've got some cauliflower mash. Yeah. So all I did was just steam some cauliflower, or you could roast it. I love roasting cauliflower. It gets so flavorful. Yes. Then just mash it. I added some ghee, which is yep. like a clarified butter. butter. And great for people who are sensitive to dairy because all of the milk proteins are removed from ghee. So oh. I added the ghee, and then I, I mixed in the nutritional yeast, and I sprinkled it on top too. So it tastes like really cheesy. It's really so, delicious. If we wanted to say sprinkle it on our broccoli because maybe yes. you would have cheese in your broccoli. Yeah, that's a great idea. You don't so have to liter you don't have to necessarily cook with it. You can exactly. just use it as a as a sprinkly spread. Yeah. It's a nice um, swap if you don't want parmesan cheese. Yeah. Um, I find that it has like that parm flavor, like has yeah. like that salty salty flavor, but then it works in like a creamy cheese too. Oh, but it's good. really nice um, on a cauliflower mash. Yeah. And like I said, it just looks like so pretty as well. Well, and you get all those nutritional benefits. I kind of like cheese and everything, so yep. I'm going to get some. <laughs> yeah, and try it. Put on awesome. popcorn. People put yes. on popcorn, yep. right? Very so good, good, Joy. Thank you very Thank much for that you. little education. <laughs>